Welcome all back to the Landlord Advocates channel here on YouTube. Last week we did a video called COVID-19 The Eviction Moratoriums. And this is part two. We didn't think we would have to do a part two, but we do. We received an email and some phone calls from some organizations, namely two, that disagreed with our assertion that notices can still be served upon tenants. That being the rent reminder, the 14 day, the 30 day, the 60 and the 90 day notices. Upon further consultation with our attorneys here at Ideal Legal Support Services LLC here in New York, they still concur notices can be served. What we did is we did some research we looked at websites from organizations that are advocates of tenants, tenant advocacy entities, and looked at what their position was on serving notices. But before I tell you who they are and what they said, this comes out on April 7th, 2020 from Bloomberg Business News. States, including New York, the hardest hit by the pandemic, have deemed process servers an essential business, meaning that they are not subject to business shutdown orders. Therefore, there is notices that have to be served upon people throughout the state of New York, wherever those notices may be. Well, those notices are rent reminders 14, 30, 60, and 90 day notices. Now on to the entities and their positions. An organization called Housing Justice for All, in correlation with another organization called Right to Council New York City Coalition. This is a coalition comprised of lay people, tenants, tenant advocates, advocacy groups, and attorneys. This is their position. Right now, you are still obligated to pay the rent. The moratorium just means that your landlord can't see you for non-payment right now. But once the moratorium is lifted, they will be allowed to. They go further on to say, Please know that the order does not apply to rent demands. The order they're referring to is the 90-day moratorium that took effect on March 20th, 2020. Landlords can still send you letters and rent demands for any rent they claim you owe during this time. Why would organizations such as this, that are very heavily favored towards tenants, put out emails and put out on their website that notices can be served but they cannot, to serve notices on the tenants only helps the landlords get their tenants into court faster when this moratorium is lifted. Another organization, many of you probably have heard of them, called the Legal Aid Society. We work with a lot of them here in our local court here in Schenectady, New York. We actually have a good working relationship with them, quite frankly. But their job is to try to work it out with the landlord to let the tenant stay. If they cannot work it out, legal aid will do much research and will find ways, either through procedural manners or content manners, to have your case dismissed so that you have to start the process all over again, which will delay that tenant moving from the property. This is their position on serving notices. A landlord can, and they bolded the word can, still serve rent demands and late notices at any time during this time. This comes from the Legal Aid Society. Another organization, another entity that we looked up. We were not too sure, so the attorneys and I talked with each other, looked at our red 
the phrase, red part of the website. And it goes like this. Outside New York City, local courts are closed for all non-essential civil litigation. So you should not receive any court papers requiring you to go to court related to your housing. Rent demands and other notices from the landlord do not require you to go to court. I read that, and I read that a few times. And I consulted with our attorneys, and I asked them, am I interpreting this the right way? That the New York State Attorney General, that this came from, yes, the New York State Attorney General's office, that that paragraph I just read to you derived from, am I interpreting it the right way that those notices can be served? Because if they could not be served, would it not say that clearly, that my landlord could not serve those notices? Our attorneys agreed that if they were not allowed to be served, the Attorney General's office would have stated that on the website. So here we have advocates for tenants that we just alluded to here. The United Tenants of Albany is one of them. That the Rent the Council of New York City Coalition is one of them. The Housing Justice for All is another. And the Legal Aid Society is another. And the Attorney General's office has affirmed from what we interpret from her website that yes, notices still can be served. Now, that leads me to the federal program called the CARES Act. The CARES Act changes the eviction process and the service of documents a little differently. If you are a holder of a federally backed mortgage, commonly known as a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac mortgage, that tenant has 120 days before they're going to be in court for their removal. But, according to the Legal Aid Society, an organization that does not work for landlords, you cannot, as a landlord, contact the Legal Aid Society for advice. They will not give it to you. They only speak to the tenants. They only represent tenants. Their position is, if you, have, if you receive a Section 8 voucher, the landlord may not file court papers for non-payment of rent until after the 120 days expires, which is July 27, 2020. But they can still show those notices on you, the ones I alluded to earlier, the 5-day, the 14-day, the 30, 60, 90 is something a little different. But for now, for the non-payment purposes, you're looking at 120 days, which expires on July 27, 2020. So they cannot file the paperwork until after that day. So if your tenant is not paying the rent to you, yes, you can show them a notice now if they're on the Section 8 program, but you will not be in court until probably sometime in August. So will it really benefit you to serve them a notice? You can. But again, you won't be in court until sometime in August. Again, it is your decision if you wish to have notice served upon the tenants. We are saying that yes, you can. Organizations I alluded to earlier said yes, you can. From what we interpret from the Attorney General's office, yes, you can. But with respect to you, you had that right to say, we don't want to right now, we want to wait. But we want to give you the option that yes, you can do that. We appreciate any comments that you may want to leave for us, any questions that you may want to leave for us. We will get back to you. We will answer them either through the computer or right here on the channel when we'll answer those questions. We hope that you subscribe to our channel. The more people that do, the more doors that are opened up at YouTube that can help us help you even more. So please subscribe to the Landlord's channel. And again, be safe and take care.